in the law or the provisions of info. You know, I will present the material to the application board to come back for it. I think they do want this. And so that is something that we have to do. That if you have something that First of all, thank you very much for coming. Uh, Honorable Minister Honorable Barbara NGC, Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture. Honorable Deputy Minister Dr. Zibem E. Uh, Chief Director, Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Mr. John Yao Agweko. Um, my Executive Secretary for the National Film Authority Board, board members of the National Film Authority, uh, institutional representatives of the various institutions invited for the classification committee, uh, fraternity members, friends, media, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to chair this function. That's the very first uh, public activity, let me say, of the National Film Authority. And I um, also happen to be the chairman of the board. I'm happy to chair today's function. And I hope that today the pandemic has made Ghana very submissive. So I believe we will all be very, very submissive as we carry our activities through today. Thank you so much. So I'll quickly proceed to uh, add the purpose of the government. As you may be aware, you know, over the week in the media, uh, we have uh, come across information about the inauguration of the classification committee of the National Film Authority. Basically, that is all that we are here for. And that thanks to come up because we have a QA and session. And during that time, I believe we will be in the position to talk about a few other things that may be concerning the classification and also all other things that the National Film Authority has been doing. Now, um, to go further, especially on the purpose of the gathering, um, the uh, soul and spirit of the National Film Authority was carved out of the preamble of Act 395, which states that an act to provide a legal framework for the production, regulation, nurturing, and development of the Ghanaian film industry and for the distribution, exhibition, and marketing of films and for related matters. Um, this is actually what has brought us all here today. Because um, when the act was uh, passed, 16th December 2016. Um, it actually went follow for a long time until on the 20th of December last year. Uh, the President of the Republic, uh, His Excellency Nana um, Adedakwa Ekufo, inaugurated and swore in members of the Board of the National Film Authority in the It has an establishment that is good with for the film industry. Now, the board shall perform the functions of the authority as it is in Section 3 of the Act. And before I continue, the artist, they say, has an equal responsibility as any other citizen to bring positive consciousness to his or creative fabric and living that give pleasant identity and is of relevance to its society. The drafters of the laws captured the development and classification of Film Act 935, took cognizance of this responsibility in highlighting Section 19 of the said Act. NFA is mandated by its objects and functions, among several others, to censure, not censor, films. The classification committee envisaged specifically by the law 
should perform this function. Section 8, subsection 1 of the Act states, and I quote, the board may establish committees consisting of members of the board or non-members with identifiable expertise or both to perform the function, unquote. Subsection 2 follows immediately. Without limiting subsection 1, the board shall have a firm classification committee consisting of A, the minister or a representative of the minister as members of this committee, uh, as chairperson of this committee, and B, uh, members of this committee who are spelled out in section 8 of the Act. And I wish to uh, mention the names of the members, I mean the institutions that are represented. Um, the minister, as I said, is the chairperson of the committee, or the representative of the minister. Then one representative from each of the following. The Information Services Department, the National Commission on Culture, the National Film and Television Institute, the Film Producers Association of Ghana, the Ghana Police Service, not below the rank of Assistant Superintendent of Police, the Copyright Office, the Christian Council of Ghana, <coughs> Federation of Muslim Councils, Traditional Religious Associations, the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, and one representative of the National House of Chiefs. The committee may co-opt other individuals for the purpose of previewing firms for classification. These are the members of this committee whose inauguration has congregated us here today. The board's subcommittee's submission of a very comprehensive set of guidelines capturing those prescribed by law and others serve as the criteria or benchmarks designed for the categorization and standardization and ultimate classification. Our copies of this guide, these guidelines will be made available to stakeholders, to you know, the public, and all other interested parties. Sooner than later, the document could be accessed from the NFA website, which is still under construction. The NFA has been doing so many other things, but on the quiet. And it's because, as you know, it's a very new ground, the virgin forest, and we have to tread cautiously and also make sure that we put our feet well on the ground before we take off. And that is why it's taken us this long. Of course, the pandemic and its lockdown and all other things that go with it have taken some time but I can assure all of us that we are very, very dynamic on the ground working. And that is why today we are hopefully inaugurating the uh, classification committee of the National Film Authority. So many other things will come up in the question and answer section. I wouldn't want to give out everything, otherwise you have no question to ask at the end of the day. So I would want to and here. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And our media um, present here, you are all welcome to this very important exercise that we are going to undertake this morning. Let me first extend appreciation to all the members for accepting the invitation to serve on this very important committee to help in the preview and classification of any feature film documentary and advertisement that is intended for viewership for its suitability for the Ghanaian public. I am confident that this process will open a new chapter in the development of Ghana's film industry. Yeah.
But uh, let me quickly add that um, you know the, the law allows the classification committee to classify feature from documentaries and etc. Here I want to add that music videos come under adverts but they use it to promote the music that they have created. And so music videos will also be classified. No, that is there. Okay. Thank you very much. On that note, I want to uh, call upon So Great Safo to pass on a very important information to us. You'll be sending your movies there very soon. You just clap for them. So that when you <laughs> well, um, at this point, I would like to introduce to you the various categorization that we'll be dealing with. Um, we have here the prototype of the various certificates. This is for TV adverts. You should bring your TV adverts. This is the certificate that you will be issued with. If you bring your music video, this is a music video. Documentaries, movies, and TV series. These are the certificates. And you can see that strategically, they all have different colors. We don't want a situation whereby you bring a TV series and some approved, then you say that, oh, it's for an advert. Strategically, these are the colors of the videos, and that is where it will be certified. This space here, if you break it, if your TV series qualifies for the time slot, whether it's PG, 12, 15, 18, or not suitable, it will be more here for you. Every advert will have its time slot. There are certain adverts that will not go for um, afternoons. You, need to, you must show it late night. We are not telling you what you should do. But whatever you bring, you bring to us, we will determine the time based on the content. So a TV series may be for afternoon or may be for evening, depending on the subject matter and the content there. Likewise, any adverts at all that you bring will determine. Music videos, based on the content, the lyrics, will determine the time that it 